Yeah, my name's Martin Johnson. I um, haven't, uh, I'm an amputee. I lost my leg in an accident with a glass door when I was 14. Recently been plagued by recurrent infections through a sinus in my stump, my residual limb, and my specialist recommended um, cutting that open um, and leaving it to heal from the inside, necessitating a vacuum dressing. Fortunately, um, I, I had to go to the hospital for the operation. I was in 48 hours after the operation and then was able to be discharged for the remainder of my treatment to be provided by the hospital at home service. Um, they came in on a, they came to meet me in the hospital in the first place, explained what they would provide and then for the next several weeks, probably six to eight weeks, visited me on a, um, well, at least three times a week for dressing changes. I was looked after for approximately six to eight weeks. Um, I had to go back into hospital at one stage through no fault of hospital at home. They were able to um, uh, sort of suspend the service and then pick it up again immediately to make it as seamless as possible. They were also able to manage the progression from um, the vac dressing scheme to a smaller pico dressing and then um, were able to assess when I didn't need that sort of care anymore and discharge me. The essence of it and really um, the benefit of it for me was that I was perfectly well, perfectly healthy and able, albeit not being able to wear my leg, but I did need these fairly complicated and technical dressing changes. It gave me independence, stopped me from being institutionalised. I think I've gone mad being in a hospital where I had no need for a hospital bed other than for this sort of hour every, every couple of days for the dressing change. Um, I was able to uh, um, get out and about. I was able to stay with friends. The hospital at home service was really flexible, so they would come and see me if I was staying with friends who were cooking and looking after me in that way, or they'd come to my home. There were nurses um, and healthcare assistants uh, I saw a range of different nurses, but they were all fantastic, all really clinically uh, capable and um, knew what they were doing, um, so it's all fantastic. There was, as a new service, there was some administrative um, uh, confusions to start off with, but they were really investing in that and um, getting a coordinator to make sure that people did turn up when they were, they were due to. I had a couple of little problems with that in the first couple of weeks. That settled down. Um, the only other thing that I thought would be useful in my situation where I was meant to be in a wheelchair, found it quite difficult looking after myself at home as if they had information on other organisations who could help from a social care perspective. It's all gone really well. Um, back on my leg, mobile. Getting used to um, muscles working again that didn't, but the actual um, scar has healed wonderfully and um, yeah, all good. It was just brilliant, just fitted in around me, put me first, so if I had some arrangements for the morning they would be flexible and they could come in the afternoon. Um, it prevented me from being in the hospital. My understanding is that if I'd had the operation before October of last year, I'd been in hospital for a good six to eight weeks, only having that dressing change once every couple of days. So it'd been a real waste of my time, real waste of the NHS's time. Um, this worked brilliantly for me.